Uh, uh, Brian Stiller is uh, the new uh, global ambassador for the World Evangelical Alliance, and uh, he has just flown over to Africa. As you know, friends, we are very concerned about what was happening uh, with the Somalian crisis. Uh, and a lot of those uh, Somalian refugees, as you know, are now in refugee camps in, uh, in Kenya. And uh, we're going to tell you a little bit more in a few minutes about uh, the progress we're making. And today is a very special day in terms of the funds that we're raising. The last day. But uh, Brian is in Nairobi, and we've reached him by Skype. Uh, Brian, are you, are you there? He hello, Brian. Jim and Moyer, I'm here well and alive. Can well, you see us? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, he can't. Uh, we see you. Regrettably, no. <laughs> well, you look you look uh, uh, wonderful for a guy who I'm sure is jet lagged. But Brian, you've you've been there for about a day. Um, what are you hearing at this point in time, in terms of the impact of this uh, horrible famine in Somalia on Kenya and in Somalia itself? Jim, when you sit on the other side, uh, on your side of the Atlantic, and watch the news shows, it has one kind of impact. But when you arrive here on the scene and you realize that you are you are witnessing what's about to unfold, probably the greatest famine the world has ever seen, you know that there's something of gigantic proportion, something beyond my imagination or my understanding. So this is a very new experience, not just for me, but for those within the field of relief and development who are witnessing this cascading numbers of people who are moving from the drought-driven areas of their world, uh, exacerbated by the political problem called famine. So this is, is something that I hope that our people in the West will see and understand and feel in a visceral way the enormous needs of people and be generous in their response. Yeah. Now, Brian, you mentioned political and famine in the same uh, sentence, and it really is true. Al-Shabaab, uh, the uh, Islamic militants uh, attached to Al-Qaeda, have really complicated things, have they not? You know, there's an interesting phrase that I've learned here, and it's this, that, that, uh, that uh, drought is an ecological reality that uh, happens because of ecological factors, lack of rainfall. But a famine is a political problem. The famine did not need to happen, have to happen the way it is. In southern Somalia, in Mogadishu, the warlords, for example, eliminated all of your Christian relief and development agencies back in the spring. So I know one, I know World Relief, they were feeding about a half a million children a day. The warlords drove them out. Now, the good news, Jim and Moira, is that on Saturday, the warlords vacated Mogadishu, which is the capital of Somalia. And it, it's expected now that these relief and development agencies will be going back. We're hoping to go up to Mogadishu tomorrow to see firsthand. But there is all of these, uh, these refugees moving down both into, uh, into Kenya and from Ethiopia into Kenya and Somalia. But we're hoping that some of it will be held back as relief and agencies are able to go into southern Somalia, uh, which up to this point has been controlled by the warlords. Now, Brian, you said you'll be going to Mogadishu. Uh, are you able to fly in there, or how are you going to get there? Yes, we can fly in and out of there. You're going to give us some reports from Mogadishu, I understand. Uh, yes, we will, depending on what kind of uh, access we can make, either by Skype or by phone. Uh, we'll, we will be doing filming there, so we'll have that back to you shortly. Well, that's terrific, Brian. Uh, keep us posted, and uh, Godspeed in your journeys, and we're so grateful for this information. Have a great day.